Hey there, Virgo. This is Kelly. Welcome back to another episode of Your Love Life. Uh, this is uh, House of Virgo. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, please be mindful that these messages are general. So every day there is a message. Some days they will resonate some days they will not okay so take it with a grain of salt if it fits great if it doesn't just leave it wait for the next reading okay so this is a channel for virgos only um, but you can also be virgo not only virgo sun but also virgo moon rising venus okay um personal reading links are also below this video in the description box okay so Virgo, let's see what's going on. This is going to be now um, going into the month of June. I cannot even believe that we are in that position already. We're already going into June. So yes, from this point forward into the month of June, let's see what Virgo's love messages are going forward. Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Hmm. All right. The Chaser. Okay. Chaser in a codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment issue. Okay. Fear of abandonment. Somebody here is a chaser. Somebody here is codependent. Somebody here is chasing after love chasing to get back into some type of a relationship, chasing another person to reconnect. Okay, we have the ax and the golden mirror, great. Mm. Okay, looks like we're back to that other reading, similar as um, today. Uh, the ax, there's a breakup, separation, stopping the pattern, silent treatment and abandonment. Okay, and the golden mirror, self-absorbed narcissist. One-sided relationship, love bombing. Okay, there we go. So we've got obviously a chaser and a runner. We obviously have someone who is probably possessing narcissistic traits, someone who is controlling, manipulative, codependent across the board. Someone who is trying to reclaim a relationship because somebody axed it. Somebody broke something off, said no more done with this moving on point blank period all right let's get into the rest of this reading virgo oh my goodness it's crazy you just had the golden mirror so all right you just had that what not yesterday's reading the day before okay somebody's chasing after you virgo okay now please know that these roles can be reversed so if you're recognizing this in yourself pay attention to that i'm not here to judge or tell anybody how to live your lives. I'm just here to give guidance through the messages, okay? So let's take a look. There's obviously someone here who doesn't want to let go of a relationship. And this is a person who I feel um, somebody might have given you the silent treatment or ended something, okay? Now, some of you accepted that and just said, all right, that's it, fine, goodbye, I'm not chasing after your ass. And now um, there's a love bombing situation occurring in the month of June, okay? Um, and it feels like, you know, it's crazy behavior because it's very fickle. It's like, okay, uh, somebody doesn't want to let go but gives the silent treatment and then when the person receiving the silent treatment just accepts it and says okay this is done the person giving the silent treatment is like wait a minute now no uh, i gave you the silent treatment so that you would try to reach out and chase me but the person receiving it's like no that's not gonna happen so the one giving the silent treatment is now the chaser this is what i feel like is happening here okay Let's take a look and see what these other messages are. These these types of relationships are game playing and they're territorial and they're controlling and they're just like not even that's it's such a waste of time. There's no way to cultivate a healthy loving relationship when games are being played. Okay, when somebody's using manipulative tactics of control 
or manip you know codependent behavior is very manipulative um, let me see here it's just very immature energy okay boom the tower somebody got their ego struck okay this axe came in like a lightning bolt to the ego to the crown okay yep whoever this person is Virgo I feel like for the majority of you somebody was behaving in this way to what extent to how far in the spectrum I don't know but somebody was behaving in a way where um, it feels like um, you Virgo without intending to harm just didn't play into the games it may look like you were um, acting like the one who was the abuser but I don't feel like you were I feel like you were just more or less protecting yourself um, from someone who may have been very manipulative okay and now that person I don't feel like this person expected you to strike them down to you know end something I feel like something backfired on another person who was very codependent um, who has fear of abandonment has issues who's chased after you and then when they got you right where they wanted you then they would give you the silent treatment or discard or that kind of energy and some of you finally just feels like just packed up your bags and walked out and just left here so that's causing a huge injury here with the tower nine of swords this person is an extreme anxiety because i feel like you said no you just didn't you fell back you just fell back okay so i don't feel like this person wanted you to do that I don't feel like that was their intention their silent treatment has backfired on them their intention with the silent treatment was to get you into a state of panic and to get you in a state of uh, reaching out trying to find out what's going on it was all purported it was all planned it was a strategic move it was done on purpose okay um, and I feel like the person that you're going to see here, who I feel like is going to be chasing after you coming up in the month of June, you're going to hear from them. Um, this is someone I feel like who love bombs and then gives silent treatment, abandons, and then love bombs and then silent treatment. This is like a pattern. If you haven't noticed, so listen, it's, it's not in and of itself somebody's actions right it's it's the pattern that you have to look at is there a pattern was there a pattern in a past relationship with someone or if this is somebody new um, coming in who has similar patterns to someone you dealt with before what that's why you have to take your time you can't get rushed in right and I feel like you there's a pattern here that I'm picking up okay so whoever this person is extreme anxiety because they didn't expect you to not respond this person okay so we have king of pentacles okay i feel like they're looking at you and you're in you're silent you're in quiet mode with the high priestess yeah your your energy is pulled out pulled back you're like keeping your so you're like keeping secrets it's like you know and this person is knows that you know that's what i feel like is going on here they they really they're, they're coming to realize here in the month of june that you caught on to them or that you're aware of this pattern and this game and you're not playing it anymore so you've gone into stealth mode okay you're you're kind of like in or at least that's how they're viewing you you might not be you might just be out there living your life enjoying you know you, you're I, I don't feel like if you're not in this position yet in the month of June you're gonna be in this position where you're like ah oh, all the all the puzzle pieces finally come together you you catch on you finally realize okay um, that this person was acting out of ego 
acting out of abandonment issues, fear of abandonment, acting out of codependency. Um, this person was being manipulative. And I feel like you are, you know, now I see you stopping this pattern because it is a pattern of abuse, okay? Um, and I feel like this person is looking at you and they, they know that you know. Um, and without calling anybody out, because I don't feel like you're calling anybody out here, I don't see this, your, this person views you as gone. This silent treatment thing, you're just like, okay, right back at you. That's what I feel like your energy is here. Wow, the devil card, crazy. Extreme anxiety. This person's mindset is so toxic. Look at the tower, nine of swords, and the devil. Uh, I mean, this is craziness. This is, the devil card is very, this person is, they know that you know. They're aware that you know that their behavior, like I said in the other reading a couple days ago, that this person's like living with these demons. Okay, and I'm not going to go too, too deep into this, but this person is obsessed with the fact that you've axed this connection with them okay because of and uh, you know the card says narcissism i like to just say sp spiritual disorderment is that a word i just made it up there you go spiritual spiritually disordered okay so let's get on with this story here this let me get on with this story i want to take a look at this tower um the two major arcanas falling on this person's side is the devil and the tower okay oh king of wands okay so this very well could be for some it could be a virgo taurus capricorn for others it's a fire energy aries leo sagittarius okay um this person had a really big ego really really big also I want to tell you, um, with the High Priestess, it could be a Cancer, and with the Devil card, it could be um, a Capricorn, and with the Tower card, it could be a Scorpio, okay? Just to bring some clarity. So, yeah, this person's ego, completely shot. Um, I, I hate to say this. This is going to sound vulgar and crude, but hey, we're all Virgos here, right? You get it. This person was getting off on the fact and they get off on the fact that you're a contender or that you were if you were involved with this person before they were getting off on the fact that you were staying in the game with them and you were duking it out with them okay but you've destroyed that you've left the stadium i just see here you've gone quiet if 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 you haven't actually left the, the actual stadium um or the arena that you both were in, you've definitely gone into silent mode here because you're giving the silent treatment right back to this person. But I, I don't feel, some of you it might be intentional, but I, I feel it's more like your gut is telling you um, to stop engaging with this person because of these behaviors. Okay, and here you go, six cups. This person's definitely gonna try. They're stuck in the past, but they're also gonna try to um, bring the past back to the forefront here with you and try to reconcile have some kind of a reunion with you definitely oh definitely the devil it's sitting on the devil card which i clarified and so it's basically like the demon or the devil on their shoulder is telling them um approach virgo very cautiously carefully and childlike innocent approach them as uh, uh approach virgo with an innocence okay oh it was with my kids uh i had an, a problem with my kids or something to do with my kids this is for their excuse for why I'm giving you the silent treatment in order to play on your pity to try to come back in um or i was busy with family members like siblings or um you know i i was I had to take care of some past issues um, these are all excuses okay um, they're all excuses for why someone would give you the silent treatment if they're trying to come back in with this love bombing energy um, this person is coming back in with it was out of my hands it wasn't my fault um, 
and I, I, I had to leave because I had to do this and I had to do that, whatever, okay? Or I was dealing with some past trauma, childhood problems and things like that, okay? How do you know, Virgo, that this person is not telling the truth? Well, I know because it's sitting here on the devil card. Um, this is a tactic and it's a pattern, okay? Now look at this. <laughs> just flipped out all of a sudden ten of swords seven of cups three of swords so I'm hearing oh gosh this this is awful I'm hearing this person kind of coming in and saying well you ended it with me or you betrayed me or um, I felt like you were talking to somebody else or you weren't committing to me. It's placing blame, okay? It's placing blame. Um, I couldn't commit to you because, uh, you know, um, or there was a third party situation that I had to put an end to and I had to deal with. It, it's just all excuses, right? Because there's really, if you're in a relationship with someone, um, people talk to each other when they're going through trouble we don't dip out on each other when we're having problems in a relationship when we're in a relationship and we're having external problems we rely on each other we talk to each other we let each other know what's going on in each other's lives we don't disappear or ghost or give the silent treatment unless we're in a freaking coma okay <laughs> that is indicative of manipulation and someone who's got some serious issues okay just running away or not talking to your partner about a problem that you're having external or even internal um, what is what is that that's not healthy okay so anybody who's coming back you know it's like being on the job right and and you're employed and then you just disappear you don't show up for work for like weeks or months or whatever or days whatever and then all of a sudden you just show up with with oh well I had this like you know you're supposed to be accountable um, in your relationships with people whether it's career or in intimate relationships personal relationships people that you know this this is the way life works and so if we're needing to leave or you know i mean short of just saying i was kidnapped against my own will i mean yeah okay that's valid and if you know there's proof that's valid uh or this person's in a coma that's valid i i mean i'm sure you guys can think of other reasons that valid excusable reasons um for not being able to let somebody else know what's going on i mean people sit on the toilet and text and look at their phones so anything other than that is just an excuse and that's what i feel like is happening here this reading is shit, but it is what it is and somebody here needs to know it and hear it and see some stuff so it feels to me like this person is looking at you in the month of june you've gone quiet they don't know where you are they don't know what you're doing and that's rattling them up that's shaking them up where's my contender where's virgo where's the person that, that virgo's not letting me abuse them anymore virgo's not letting me control them anymore virgo's like oh i'm on to new love holla i'm looking for something healthy this is you right here <clears throat> virgo you're it feels to me like you are you're out of here you you are like i don't care if this person comes back with bloody stumps because that that's just done no because that's not even right virgo you're you're preparing yourself you're opening yourself up to receiving new blessings um new love new developments in love um some of you maybe a new spiritual path that's having a, a deep emotional effect on you you're looking for that love elixir that's healthy and your cup overflowing that's what you want you're not looking for these games right you're done with the past virgo or this particular person whoever it is and again as i say in my readings you know these are love readings but love's an umbrella term love can cover intimate partners 
Love can cover relationships with friends and siblings and things like that. So whoever this person is, okay, in the month of June, they're definitely going to be reaching out, but I do feel like they're going to be coming in with a bunch of bogus excuses for where they've been or why, you know, whatever. Okay, they had to finish something. There's no excuse for that. There's no, it's so easy to text. It's so easy to talk to somebody and just say, hey, I got this going on. You know, um, uh, busy right now, but I'm, I'm going to try my best to keep in touch with you each day in a healthy relationship. You know, um, 24 hours, no response from someone. It's so discourteous, you know, and it's not like you're in this anxiety state where. <clears throat> I feel like somebody groomed or conditioned you to be in some kind of an anxiety state. And now your silence here, your um, and how they perceive you as not coming back into the stadium with them is causing them great anxiety because you were you were a good contender. You might have been number one supply. You were a good contender. You played the game with this person for some time. And uh, no one played it better than you. You served this person pretty well until you just got to a point where you're like, you know what? I'm serving myself now. This is an all-night buffet, and I'm going up there, and I'm picking out my own chicken, and I'm picking out my own whatever, my own food. I'm not serving anybody anymore. I'm serving. This is self-serve over here. <laughs> Virgo. Okay, look at you. I love it. That's your card right there. See the Nine of Pentacles. You're all up in your own business. You're doing fine. And if you're not doing fine right now, you will be. Okay, this is this is going into June. You got your your goods. Your, you 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 took out your box, your stash, and you're you're displaying it for all to see. Um, you are shining bright, self sufficient working on your solo gains and the things that you are trying to achieve for yourself at this time oh sorry about that you're doing your own thing that's a virgo card right now you're i feel like <laughs> there's an old saying that i heard once um the egg does not chase the sperm it's the sperm who chases the egg and that's for the females okay we're different sexes here and don't argue with me about that um, and men operate differently than females. The majority of my viewers are females, so this is specifically a message for the ladies, okay? Um, but you are in a position where you, I see you working on or will be working on or positioning yourself to attract love into your life, to attract it. Why isn't this, hold on. I don't know what's going on. Positioning yourself to attract new healthy love. That's what you're doing. I don't feel like you're out there seeking. Look, she's static. She's just showing up and showing up at the door in her best threads, um, shining like a star. She's not out under the spotlight. She's in, she's underneath like a um, an archway. You know, she's just very casual standing there and a tr and a, a, just looking her best to attract that love okay so i like your energy here virgo i don't really see that you are going to be too bothered because some of you just kind of it just feels like maybe in the past if this is someone from your past you didn't understand what was going on. A lot of you probably just didn't understand what you were in. I, I you know, there's an old saying: a fish doesn't know it, it's in a fishbowl till it's out of the fishbowl, and then that's when that fish can take a broad view and say, "That's what I was in. That's what I was living in. That murky water. I thought that's what life was like because I was stuck in it." And I see like a lot of you have, have stepped out of it and said, this had nothing to do with me. There wasn't anything going on with me. This was this person because their issues they projected on to you. That's what I see here. And a lot of you are just, just the knowledge. Knowledge is power. And a lot of you having that knowledge that, that the high priestess has that intuitive knowledge. This is like the aha moment. Like, oh, I know what's going on here. I know. And they know you know. And they don't like that. They don't like that you're on to, even if it's not, um, 
you know, NPD or anything like that, you know, and, and I'm not a doctor. I don't know enough about that. I don't make diagnoses, believe me. I just, whatever messages are coming to me, whatever this person had, whether it's just extreme selfishness, whatever. Yeah, it doesn't matter because I feel like even if this person is just spiritually disordered, you know. And I see you knowing, and I see you positioning yourself in a much better... You know, this darn emperor keeps showing up here. I'm sorry. Oh, the king of swords. I just saw the emperor, but the king of swords is here. So <clears throat> let's take a look and see what this is all about. You might have someone on your mind at this time, a king of swords. Now, some of you, could it could be a king of swords from the past. Gemini, Aquarius, Le uh, I almost said Leo. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. That could be this person. Um, now, I will say one message I'm getting is some of you, <laughs> some of you are being spiteful, right? In spite of yourself, okay, you're positioning yourself to be not show offy, but to show that that yes you're a contender but i don't get in the ring with people who cheat and bite their way to win right it's almost like this all-knowing like yeah you're gonna look at me and you're gonna see that i don't need you so a lot of you um i don't really feel like you're hiding but i feel like you're kind of giving that silent treatment and just showing up like unaffected you're showing up in a way where it's kind of like a little a little I don't want to say boastful but it's kind of like how you like me now look no marks on me no bruises I'm fine I'm doing well I'm all I'm perfectly fine look I've actually matured I've grown I've changed I'm I'm non affected so some of you might be showing your trying to show that present yourself to this person in a way and and i do feel like if you're doing that that's causing them great anxiety that's going to draw them back in um and because again this person views you as someone that was a challenge to try to conquer um you're unconquerable <laughs> virgo <laughs> i mean you're just unconquerable at least that's how they're viewing you okay um you are a supreme contender um and they can't you just can't lay down like a doormat it's just not your natural way here virgo and this person knows that <laughs> and yet at the same time you know that you know that about yourself you're gaining your confidence back here i see and um you might also have somebody else that you're interested in that you might be trying to attract into your life at this time specifically an air sign okay maybe but let's see that you might not be right now okay but they might show up now here's the thing i was clarifying this king of swords and the five of swords is here and that is always a card of a bully of an abuser and so i my main message here for you is that you're trying to show up to somebody here that you um your light's going to shine no matter what they do you're still going to be yourself you're still going to live your best life and um if this was the person maybe possibly an air sign or show is showing up here or you view them as being an air sign of someone who is quite strategic and intentional with their words um, or is a verbal abuser um, you're definitely showing up that your heart is still fresh and clean and new and just like your <laughs> you just like you like you just unscathed I feel like st you're showing this person and some of you that's what your intention is like mm -mm. Uh, for everything that was done everything that was said everything that wasn't said the silent treatment the breakup um, you're stopping the pattern and you are in recovery mode here even not even so much it's more like i'm not a victim i'm a survivor and i'm gonna show you how i survived this 
You know, it's like showing up, like not boasting, but you're showing up here <laughs> and welcoming new love. Okay. The wheel of the year and the nine of cups. Beautiful. Virgo, you're just, you're moving on, going after your wishes, your things that bring you emotional happiness. Okay, and making those wishes come true. You're in good health. It could be something that you're, I don't know, maybe you're working on a, working out on a spin bike or something, taking classes, um, moving, having moving. There's a turning point happening here for you, Virgo. And I love it. I just love it. It's so inspiring. You're inspiring me. Um, you've um Good luck is coming to you. Good good luck is coming to you, okay? Um, and even if this is somebody new showing up in that air element, the way I described, um, you, you've risen. That's just what I feel. You've, you've put yourself in a position to be above because knowledge, the knowledge that you're gaining or that you've been gaining you're able to see what was what and this you've detached yourself or you're detaching yourself in going through the month of June um, from any kind of trauma or anything like that you're you're seeing it for what it is you're calling a spade a spade and this is this is the the card of these are the cards of spades you're calling a spade a spade I don't feel like you're um, you're not claiming somebody's words or things that they've done. You're not claiming that. You're kind of like, that has nothing to do with me. Somebody came in this way, and they're going to go out that way too. And you're staying more true to yourself, more in your authenticity about who you are, getting back to self, focusing on self. So uh, let me just tell you, this person's going to try. Here you go. I was just going to say, this person's going to try to um, reach out to you and they're going to start their love bombing kind of thing, right? You've got the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Wands. So, you know, their ex exhaustion, the, the effort and the work they're going to put in to um, be reaching out to you. Um, I want to come see you. Um, as soon as I'm I've done all this, this heavy lifting, uh, they're carrying some kind of burden on their back. And telling you, you know, I want to come see you. I want to connect with you. Um, I'm just finishing up this thing. I'm totally exhausted. I'm stressed out. But um, I'm coming your way. That eight of wands. I always feel like that's that's Cupid's arrows. That's like speed. That's like um, mm, that's like machine gun love right there. Choo -choo 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 -choo. Just love bombing. Message after message, communication, news, bringing you news. This is supposed to be good news, okay? Quick change. Um, and is this person trying to get back into your your life? Uh, yeah, because they have a fear of abandonment that you're going to be gone for good, okay? That you're you're moving on. Let me see here. Oh yeah, look at them. Knight of Wands charging in fast. First, they're going to shoot all their darts. Their love darts at you, okay? Um, they're stacking them up. Look, they're, they've gone out to the forest. They're getting all their love darts. They're stacking them up. This is their arsenal. They're bringing it to you. First, they're going to shoot them to you, and then they're going to come for you. <laughs> That's not a warning, okay? Um, but this is more like charging in, okay? Um, this could be somebody who's at a distance, so uh, this... Eight of Wands can have something to do with travel as well. Coming in on there as a knight. Okay. Oh, yeah. The star. Wanting to heal this. Want to be the, the shooting star. The number one. Um, the all-star in your life. They're getting, oh, man, Virgo. <laughs> I can't even with this reading. I can't. I want to heal this. I want to try to fix this. You know? I've he or I've healed. I've been healing. I've been making changes in my life. Oh yeah, look at this nurturing energy. This is water element here. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You know, um, I've been healing. I've been doing a lot of thinking. Um, I've been getting a lot of support. I want to bring in. I want to support us. Uh, <laughs> Aquarius energy here. 
Okay. So, yeah, look at this. I'm going to be more consistent. Um, I don't know. Just with that devil card and everything just coming off of that. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, listen, Virgo. And I'm going to do an extended reading to see how you're going to handle this. Because some of you, I, I know, like you're just, oh, I know what it is. Calling a spade a spade. I know what it is. Um, I am going to do an extended reading to see um, what this person is going to do, what their actions are going to be going forward throughout the rest of the summer to see how things are going to change. The Queen of Pentacles is here. Um, this feels like a mirroring image here with the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles because I feel like this person sees you working really hard, um, being in your abundance. This is all about the, the coin. Um, you're very down to earth. You study. Some of you study. Uh, you're very well-versed on facts of things. You understand things. Data. Looking at data. Some of you have been looking at like data. Um, you understand how things work. You understand how to make money. You understand about consistency and perseverance. Um, and I feel like this person is going to... They want to... I don't know if they're going to do this. They're going to tell you. They 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 want to. They admire you. They want. They want to know. They want to be like you, which is strange. Um, it's kind of like projecting, right? Um, this person comes in with this um, projection. Um, it, it's kind of uh, how can I say this? Um, all the things that you do that they think that you are better than them, they're going to tell you that's what they're doing right um king of cups and the ace of swords okay so again with the water element here cancer scorpio pisces energy and also as, as i said we have yeah see there's a lot of mirroring so the king of cups and the queen of cups and then we have the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles and then the oddball out is the king of wands so I see things differently. Okay, this is going to segue into this. Um, this is going to segue into this extended reading right here. And I'm going to use these three cards to segue into that because there's a perspective here. And I want to find out if this person is coming through um, with absolute truth, okay, about what they're going to be saying to you. If they've really seen, if they have clarity, if they've really seen the light if they're coming in and saying to you um uh, maybe i did have this problem maybe i do have this problem maybe i am a the big n word maybe i am spiritually disordered um i think maybe i am or i might be um or i might have like these extreme selfish i have trauma i have things um you know maybe i should you know, I, I got to go see Jesus or I got to go see the man on the cross or I got to go get some counseling or something like that. You know, um, I've been stuck. Um, I've been stuck in this way of life for a long time. So we're going to take a look in the extended to see if there's going to be any changes. OK, if this person's really coming in with the truth, because the Ace of Swords is a card of truth and clarity. All right. Let's look a little bit more into you and your energy going forward. OK. And then I'm going to cut it short because I really want to get to this extended. All right, let me see. What other messages are there here for Virgo? This is crazy. Oh, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. All right. Water. Emotions are at their peak. Medusa. Jealousy leads to a downfall and the caduceus. You will receive news from afar. Okay. Right. So you're definitely going to be getting some connection, some news. The caduceus, that's a two of cups energy. That's healing. Um, but it's also to a meeting of the minds. Um, emotions at their peak jealousy leads to downfall. So this message you're going to get, this news, uh, also is going to come from someone who... Um, it says they were very jealous that hmm, you might be moving on to somebody else. I don't like it. Their emotions are just like, oh, obsessive emotions coming through with this person. Um, okay, let me get 
Let's do some signs and then let's get into the numbers and some charms and see what's going on here. You're definitely going to be getting a message from this person. Go over to the extended reading when it's over here. Um, click on the link that's below the video to get to the extended reading and that will tell that there will be more information in there about you know how, how the rest of this is going to play out and if this person is really coming in with truth and or if they're if they're feigning all right oh we just had a charm fall out here oh we have like it's like a capital it's a building here somebody's from washington maybe or italy sorry if you can't see it um it's a domed, a domed building. Maybe it's Russia or somewhere in Europe where there's dome topped buildings. Okay. All right. So somebody is 40. Okay. We also have Pisces, Taurus, double Taurus, triple Taurus again, triple Taurus. Okay. So somebody might have triple Taurus in their chart somewhere. I can't believe it's amazing to me how Taurus falls out all the time. Okay, so the numbers they're giving me are 83, they're giving me 510, they're giving me 1016, they're giving me 23, um, and they're giving me the number 4. Okay. Now these could be years, these could be ages, these could be, um, you know, birth dates. We have area codes, 416-237-510-310-835. Um, okay, let's see what else you have here. dark. All right, we have Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, and Gemini. Okay, um, numbers 7, 15, 909, 22, uh, 59, 32, and 12. Okay, um, we also have, so September, September 1990 um, and 1992, um, we also have the 25th. Did I say that? I can't remember if I said that. Okay. Oh, and then I just saw cancer real quick. All right, let's see. One more shuffle, one more roll. Okay, double Gemini, Leo, we have Virgo. Okay, 45, we have huh, October 2nd, 2010. We have 88, we have 19, 24, 28, and 54. Okay. Um, and 51. Okay. Double Gemini. Interesting. Now let me get a couple of charms. Okay. Don't forget about the extended reading if you're interested to find out how this is going to turn out or what this person's energy is going to be. Okay. So we've got a web. Spider's web. Caught in the web. Caught in a web of lies. Surfing the, the web. There's a spider on here as well. Maybe you just see a spider's web somewhere. Okay. And we've got a little birdie here. And that looks like the Twitter bird. So maybe something on Twitter. Or you're browsing Twitter or posting something on Twitter. Maybe you're posting something about the Amber Heard situation. Um, we've also got a rose. Okay. 
So are you preening your roses? You could be getting a rose or receiving roses. You just got some. Put them in a vase somewhere in your house. It's very pretty. Also, uh, somebody's name might have rose in it, okay, or, or a street name or a city. Um, there's two keys again, you guys, and just like I said in one of the last readings, those two keys represent the fifth element, the unseen, the spiritual forces, okay? Um, so there's something unseen here in regard to um, unlocking the gates. That's the Hierophant and the High Priestess here. Okay, working in tandem, each with their own key, opening up spiritual truths, unlocking that fifth door that nobody knows, and that's the forbidden door. Some of you are trading in your keys, or you're looking for your keys. <laughs> um, we also have a moon, a black moon with a star. Okay, this feels to me like, I don't know, it's weird. I just saw somebody, did it get dark all of a sudden? I just saw somebody eating, um, taking a bite out of a cookie, a chocolate cookie. Okay, and there's a Christmas candle here with some holly. Okay, so something to do with the holidays with Christmas is very significant to someone here. And also don't forget, there is... It looks like a state building or some kind of very important building that has domes on it okay um it could be i don't really feel like it's a castle it's somewhere in the in in europe though it could be here in the u.s too or somewhere else in the world i'm picking up strong europe but it doesn't have to be it's just somewhere in the world wherever you you may see one maybe you just saw one wherever there's a dome okay a building or several buildings that have archways and domes okay so i'm going to leave this reading here for you i know it's a little shorter than normal but i'm going to leave this here for you and go over to the extended link will be below and we'll take a look at the energies um right here well, what this truth is this person is really seeing things differently or are they just telling more fibs okay and we'll see how things turn out with this particular relationship going forward throughout the rest of the summer. All right, you guys, thanks for being in the chat. Hello to the mods. Thanks, everybody, for being here. And I will see you um, in the extended. All right, take care. Bye.